Hey Aquarius, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a great day. We're going to get right into your love reading. You know to take what resonates. Always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional um, clarity. There may be some similarities within the readings. Remember that it's not a one-to-one -one reading. So it's not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. I do offer one-to-one -one readings over in my Etsy shop. The link's in the description box. As most of you know, I am running. Um, there's a cyber sale throughout Etsy, and I took part in it. Um, but I am running out of availability for personal readings throughout the month of November. So if you are interested, if you already have it in your cart, now's the time to do that, especially with the sale coming in. Um, also, in December, I'm going to strictly go down to emergency readings only. Um, just my way, to, my way to control how much is coming in around the holidays. <clears throat> Spend some time with my family and friends, work on my YouTube channel, and add extra readings to YouTube. But also to revamp my Etsy shop and do something different for 2025. So go ahead and purchase a personal reading if you've been interested. All right, I'm giving away two free readings this month of November. You need to become a subscriber to take part in my giveaways, and it is each and every month that I give away something different. So two free personal readings. Those two people that are randomly chosen get to tell me what they would be, like their reading to be centered around. Go ahead and subscribe. New and returning subscribers leave the word grateful down below in the comment section of this reading and any reading that you view of mine throughout the month of November. At the end of each and every month, I randomly choose those people to win. I'll always remind you the very last couple days of each month to check your notifications. Little bell top right hand corner of everyone's YouTube homepage. That's where you'll be notified for those people that win. Okay. We have destiny. You are meant to meet 33. So we have repeating number 33, an unbreakable bond. I am understanding our relationship and our connection. What I once thought was trivial was something more and on a higher consciousness. I couldn't understand it then, but I am now starting to. Destiny. I have also done a series of twin flames for each zodiac sign and a series of readings for soulmates. If you haven't seen those, head over to my page and watch them. Fated encounter, fated opportunity between you and this person, illusions. Here we go. This is the unawakened. Remember that this person is starting to awaken to this connection. My obsessiveness thinking got the best of me. Allow got the best of me. I allowed my emotions and others to control and dictate my actions towards our connection. Finally, I understand and I am following my own twish intuition. Taking the rose colored glasses off. The moment of an epiphany. I love that for you, Aquarius. Let's see what else. Wordless. Yeah, someone. It's like family, friends, maybe even coworkers talking crap on this connection. This person held back what they were feeling for you. It's like so many unsaid things. They held back in fear. They allowed other people's energy to affect this connection. Gluttonous gossip and wordless. There is so much for me to tell you, but I am unable to express, uh, express myself in a rational way. So I rather keep quiet. And then we have rebuilding, yes. They want to work on this connection. This epiphany is happening. They want to come towards you. They want to put the effort in. This could be happening now that you know that they want to work things out or very soon from the time of this reading. All right, let's get deeper. Aquarius, we're going to see the energy between you and this person currently. All right, we have the King of Swords. I feel you got tired of them being back and forth. You got tired of them being hot and cold. This is your energy. You very well could be dealing with a fellow air sign, um, but this is you putting your guard up. You've had enough. You know, I need you to work through your own bullcrap. And then when you're ready, 
and only when you're ready, then you can come towards me. But enough is enough. Enough of you listening to other people, enough, enough of you allowing certain things to interfere in our connection. I'm going to go now and I'm going to take care of myself. The Ace of Cups. By you walking away, you show them that you're the priority. That you're focusing on self-love. But it also gives this person time to think about how much they miss you. What actually is going on between the two of you. That you are that fated partner. And the three of wands, they will take action. This is an action card. Moving on. Wanting to further this connection. Wanting to take it deeper. Following their passion. All right. And I truly feel the moment this person surfaces, you're not expecting it. You're, you're so focused on doing you. As you should be. Yeah, I feel like this person was very guarded. They had some toxicity going on in their own life that they needed to find a way out of. I really feel a rebirth within them, which would be part of them rebuilding their own life. Life. All right, let's see what else we can get. We're going to do past, present, and future, and I'm going to get even deeper. Past energy. You might have last, last spoke to them in the summer. Um, they could actually even be an Aquarius, a Leo, Virgo. But this shows the growth, the progress. I feel that there was a lot of warmth, a lot of attraction, a lot of heated energy between the two of you. Present energy. This person now knows that you are their destiny. Destiny showing up twice. They now know you are their destiny. They're now realizing that there's a greater force that brought you into their life. Overall outcome, the shadow work. Remember I said the rebuilding. Intense introspection. Remember I said that they were breaking free from some toxicity in their own life. They're rebuilding themselves. They're preparing themselves for this union. Yes, this is the card of in the future. There will be growth. This is the seven of pentacles. This shows how much of an impact you made on this person's life, Aquarius. But also, by you coming into their life, by you walking away, you showed them your strength. You showed that you're not going to be someone that they can push around, that they can walk all over. And with the Seven of Pentacles here, it shows in the near future, there will be growth. There it is. I can't even make this up. Soul union. Fated partnership. They're walking away from cycles. They're walking away from their life being dictated to them. They're walking away from people's negative gossip. Whatever that toxicity is in their own life, you're going to know better than I will, and it's going to be different for each one of you. They're walking away from that. This is Eight of Wands, sometimes known as Cupid's Arrows from Tarot Readers. This is the communication. We have the letter A here. We have 888. We do have Leo energy. So we have air, water, and fire showing up here so far. All right, let's get deeper. Ace of Swords showing up at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups. I'm feeling long term here, Aquarius. The Death card. I do feel an ending, but I feel that that ending is causing this rebirth. King of Wands. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Wands. This is such an intense connection. This queen, the only queen of the deck, 
sits with her legs spread open, but only for her king. That's why they're positioned to each other, facing one another. See how blossom this sunflower is? Signifying the growth that is going to happen between you and this person. Seven of Pentacles coming through again. The moon, that goes with the wordless, suffering in silence. So many unsaid things that they're feeling that they want to open up to you about. And that's what's happening in this energy. The retreat between the two of you is just a pause. It is a very temporary pause. And then judgment. Divinely guided, returning towards one another. And what they reveal to you, the words that come out of their mouth, they have so much deep feeling for you. As I stated, when you walked away, you walked away to take care of yourself. You walked away thinking, you know what, I'm done. I'm done with all of this intense, chaotic energy. You need to figure out your own bullcrap. I have to say bullcrap because YouTube is very very dingy with um, certain things. And with judgment here, this is union, divine union. For those of you going through a soulmate situation or a twin flame situation that have, hasn't seen my other readings, like I said, go ahead and do that because very well may have messages for you. Ascension, that's what's causing this union. I love it transcending the obstacles Aquarius preparing for a union rebuilding their life and I gotta say for some of you cross watchers you might have been dealing with an Aquarius that you know is your fated partner but they were going through their own issues there's the ascension for the second time coming in the phoenix rising this will be rekindled Aquarius and this wants to come out there it is, watching from afar. Hiding behind a bush, hiding behind a mask for now, watching you from afar. Depending on the time that you've been apart from one another, they never stopped caring, they never stopped watching. They never stopped fearing that you were going to meet someone else in the, in the separation. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, T E A I G Z L. All right, take what resonates. Leave the word grateful down below in the comment section. And like I said, anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, head over to my Etsy shop. Um, and at least take care, take advantage of the availability that I do have left for this month before entering um, December where I go to just emergency readings just for that month. And then January will be a brand new month that I would completely reopen. Love and light.